So here's my initial uh, uh, guess at a design. And what I've taken is a compound parabolic concentrator object, which I'm going to use to reflect the high angle rays as they come out from my LED. And I'm also cutting out from that a section which has the same shape as a standard lens. And in Optic Studio, there's a basic rule that if two objects occupy the same region of space, then the last object listed in this editor is the one that, that, that wins effectively. So in this case, this object made out of air cuts out from this object made out of PMMA from a point of view of the ray tracing inside the, the system. And you can see here the rays are going here, they're in blue, and then they hit this face here, you go green, and they go red to here. This They come this way, they go green here, they go red here, and then they're this sort of orangey color right right there. So you can see just how that's how that works. Uh, rays going forward are going to see the lens of this uh, little lens. Rays going to the side are going to see the uh, side of the compound bar parabolic concentrator. And then I've got a group of simple rays, just individual rays being fired out from uh, the same points at, dis at angles of 0, 10, 20, 30, 40 and, and so on through the, uh, uh, through the system. What I'd like to do now though is optimize the lens and in order to do that I've, I need a merit function and this merit function is very uh, straightforward for this design because what I'm doing is using the operand NSRA which stands for non-sequential ray and I'm targeting the Y cosine of all those rays to be zero. So what I'm doing is for the source that is coming from object number four, its last segment, which is where it hits this detector, I want its direction cosine in Y to be zero. In other words, I want it to be hitting it at, at 90 degrees. And that I just apply to every single source in turn. That gives me my merit function. And in terms of things that I can vary, I can vary the acceptance angle of the compound parabolic concentrator, and I can vary the radius and conic constants of this face of the, the, uh, the lens here. So now that I've set that up, I'm going to optimize, and you'll see it takes a very short time that's it, it's actually done, 0.5 of a second. And if we look now at the design, you'll see here that Optic Studio has adjusted this radius and conic to give us an aspheric shape here that gives us pretty good collimation for those central rays. And then it's adjusting the rate, the uh, acceptance angle of the CPC here to give us pretty good um, collimation of those rays. This ray at 90 degrees, or al almost 90, I think it's 80 or something, is not so well collimated, but all the rest are. We'll go on now to see just how well this lens performs when uh, we use the real ray data.